All right, so let's break down this solo. So I'm going to go through a couple things uh, to practice to be able to do this. So the first thing is to go up the C major scale in this uh, pattern here. So like uh, add six chords. So C add six chord, and then take an octave down between the hands, and then just walk up the scale like this. That gives like that kind of open, chunky sound. So about an octave between the hands. Uh, the next thing to practice is this kind of Gene Harris uh, add six, like diminished chord. So instead of just walking straight up diatonically, we're going to add uh, diminished chords every so often, like every other here. So like there. And I have to practice that. But, uh, you know, usually it's like in, in substitution of a five chord. So uh, we'll see that. So let's break down the, the song a little bit. So he starts out right there, right from the beginning. We end up with a lot of these add six chords in the right hand. And you'll notice in the left hand, they're always uh, like a four voice uh kind of a rootless voicing there, so. So what's going on there? So I would try to reharmonize it really simply. So we got a, it's a five chord. Two, five, one, two, and then, then he changes there, so that gets us to here. Now here, we got to go uh, secondary dominant, so we're going to go. Okay, so again, rootless voicings down here, D dominant to G dominant. And then he's going to do this kind of cool thing where we're going to be static on, on the F chord. All right, we're going to be a little static. And then again, the five chord. Then the uh, A dominant. Uh, diminished and then we're gonna go plain like away from the the diminished so a natural instead of a flat so anyway there's a, a brief rundown uh, practice just parallel going up and hopefully that helps you figure out uh, what red garland is doing